Hi everyone, Siege back here, and welcome back to another episode of Monster Train. In the last run that we had in this game, I made a very weird run with... Well, the multi-strike for that run was from Draft and... Horned Warrior alone. I don't think I saw any multi-strikes in that run, which made the run a bit harder. Now, fun note about that run, I re-ran that seed before this recording, and I did found, find a multi-strike on Ring 8, but it's a, it was on a side that was not having a dupe. And I ended up relying on Sacrificial Resurrection to get me drafts that hit multiple times to clear the floor. So, that was a bit exciting. Um, I, I re-ran the seed because I thought um, I made a mistake because of running with um, an X5 on a Wake Lash that did not have... A minus one but had a spell chain so i tried lining that up with an x5 properly and what i saw in that run uh, was that there was an endless somewhere else and some of the seal traps that i did not go to however it seems like the problem with that run was i guess density density of cards so i might not have or i was i may not have supposed to dupe that way clash but i might have to run it again to really know how it would have worked out so yeah that was our intro for today so we are gonna be jumping into another run of monster train because we have been having a, a very good blast of this game and we are going to be running with we are going to be running today echo right no sorry not echo right i uh, just finished his run we are going to be jumping back into the default champions so we have prince for today so let's see what kind of run prince gives us today and it looks like we have a very good and solid run, or possibly a solid run in our hands. We have default Hellhorn with default Awoken, meaning we have torches and restores with train stewards, of course. And the good thing about that is that we have scaling on hand with fledgling him. So Prince uh, might be a part of this run. Probably we might need a tank though. Uh, for his defense we have offense solved we also have impressive here which really is a very good card for us and we have a form of healing or in backline clear in the form of glimmer we are also against rage talus curse arcus and diligent seraph so spells are gonna be critical in this role it's a positive though that we have um, some spells. We have three spells in our random starting card, which would help with our with the diligent problem here. Now, how many temples do we have in this run? We have three, four. Okay, that was a bit scary. Having only three temples and all of them front loaded would have been very difficult for us. But we do have one ring 8 temple that we can also use so we have a ring 8 steel shop with vent and vortex very good decent magic shop opposite it with boons and pyromains another very good steel shop with vortex and pyromains on ring 7 versus an okay magic shop with caverns and boons so hmm we also have the same magic shop combination on ring 6. Opposite that though is a horde pyromains hell vent. Not a very good hell vent I would say, but that is the second hell vent of this run so far. We have a trinket shop in ring 5 with boons and pyromains. The middle of that is a horde, so no 
not enough money there to go for the trinket shop, not unless we come prepared. That is opposite, opposite a very good magic shop with caverns and vortex. Maybe overstacks are there. Let's see. We do have the third dupe of this run on ring 4 with vortex and pyromains against the last hellhorn for ring 4 with horde and boots. We do have options for ring 3 and ring 2. Ring 3 is Magic Awoken versus Steel Shop Hellhorde Banner, which is actually the same combination we have for Ring 2. We have a starting Horde, so with the cards that we have, we do have somehow a way of reaching backlines. So I might grab that depending, depending on what we see here in our initial Horde. That is a Gurg's Goad. And that is very powerful. Let's snap click that. Champion says, okay, we don't have Brawler here, so let's go Ratful. I think we can make this work. So we have a frontline tank right now with Prince. And I might have to throw him away eventually because of Gurg's Goad with any Hellhorn dude. It's going to be very powerful. I am going to grab this horde here and hmm, unbroken horn seems like a good pick here but also we have jack strips and refracting lenses. I might pick jack strips here to make the early game easy for us. Um, I don't think we have a way to generate... Okay, apologies for that. I was contacting my internet service provider for my internet transfer, actually. So, I'm waiting on that on my phone on the side. So, apologies for the random pause. So, hmm. Jack Strips makes the early game easy for us. Unbroken Horn, maybe a perspective take. Don't really want to do that, though. I might really want to run the torches here. And Refracting Lenses is a lot of healing, but I'd like to make early game easy for us. So let's grab Jack Strips and go for the first ring combat. We can take this unit draft for the simple reason we have torches, we have glimmers to deal with a 9 by one only. So let's drop that there. Prince in front with... Train Steward on back. Let's restore for no apparent reason. We do get the Collector in the middle and we can ping out. I think we need to start pinging out the 13 by 2 here. And he will die when he goes up, which is good. I think the play here is fledgling him to get the kill. And I think dropping a torch. Now we do clear this. I think I'll drop two restores here instead then for some healing. I will drop the rage imp here in front. We will get the kill in middle and bottom though. Let's drop double train steward so that so that we don't draw back into them. We wanna see better cards overall. Let's torch here. And I think we'll probably get this kill here, maybe. We don't have enough. Hmm. Let's deal some hmm. 108 minus 54 is 46. Yeah, 46. 
Doing two restores gives me two regen. He hits me once. I go to nine. I heal two. I go to eleven. Hits me again. I go to five. I might be able to... No. Okay, I take three hits here. Not that ideal. I might have been able to play that a bit better overall. Offense. Horn break is a very good ping, but I think I'll grab the Welder heal Helper here for some form of defense. Yes. And I think I'll grab Razor Sharp here. There's your Horned Warrior. That's very powerful, I'd say. Three hits on the floor. Yeah, grab that. Go right. Look for... Ooh, an Endless on my Fledgling Imp. Don't mind if I do. I could play Welder Helper in back here. Yeah, infuse that into my guy. Yeah, let's grab the Endless on... Fledgling him. Grab the plus 25 on Horned Warrior. And we are. Okay, I have a Steel Worker here. Grab that. That's armor. And. Hmm. So do I play O oh, Fledgling Imp on this unit here mm, I don't have I want him to die in front so do I play double fledg self infused fledgling imp here and just rely on steel worker I could do a self infused steel worker and dupe that that's 20 armor hits 4 times yeah, there's that. When can I do that though? Probably here. So what am I looking for then? Do I have very good minus two target? Not really. I could do my infusion now and then do another infusion mid. Imp infusion here. Another infusion here depends on what I see there. And then I'll probably do one of those units over here. Let's see what we see upcoming. So let's chill on the infusion for now and move on from here. Another unit draft. Sure, let's take that. Mm, let's play Horned Warrior Steelworker. Let's drop all of our units here. I do see a fledgling imp that I can ping out the collector. Okay, do get the money there. Okay, I can chill here. I can play Train Steward and ping out the back friend here. Can play the Train Steward again. I mean the Fledgling him. Glimmer here, Torch in the back. Fledgling him. Razor sharp edge. Okay. And then one more play of fledgling imp here. And we take the W. Okay. Very powerful. 
I think this is gonna be a straightforward run. Hopefully. I don't think I need Ritual of Battle right now. Let's grab a very good ping in Hornbreak. Another Razor Sharp. Hmm. Don't think I need that. Let's grab the offset for Steel Enhancer here. And I think on this point, I will... Hmm. Could grab the Animus of Will there. Put that on Steel Worker. Three hits on the floor. No. Don't think I need to do weird things here. Let's go right. Shop says it's a quick. Mm. I could grab quick here, infuse steel worker in, and then save my armor, and then I scale with fledgling him and then i find a way to kill it hmm i could also go with double steel workers here self-infused steel worker yeah i could go with that that's a lot of armor means i can drop Okay, that solves my armor problems, I guess. Yeah, let's let's do that. The self-infused steel worker. Haven't tried that in a while. And then I just grab a plus twenty-five here. Yes. Yes. And then I do my infusion now on my imp. Minus two, not taking that, then in piercing. Uh, not really. Let's do the infusion first. Imp into imp. Yes, that's my scaling. Let's check the caverns. We have... Okay, can't lose 10, so we get a little more gold there. It'll trade 5 health. Um, do I need to cut cards here at right now? I don't think we need to do it right now. Let's probably do it later then. Let's move on right now. We fight. Okay. I drop Hornbreaker Prince into Steel Worker. Hornbreak that guy so he dies. We avoid the Ember Drain. And I think I'm good with that setup. I am gonna play the second steel worker on top. The one with the more HP. PS middle with Horn Warrior in the back. Let's enhance on top and play Chain Steward middle. Ping out the guy in back so he dies on jack strips. Okay, I have not found my friend. Let's buff in front. Where's my imp? There's my imp. Okay, I ping out the healer here. Play imp. Okay, that's good. Play double TS, middle. Okay, play TS again. Play horn break, middle. 
Okay, another TF Fledgling Imp Middle. And we chill. Okay. Spikes. Cycle of Life? No. Channel Song. Channel Song can pull out my. Yeah. If I cut all of the trains towards the Welder Helpers, that can fish for my Fledgling Imp faster. I'll be cutting Horned Warrior here. Soon enough. So maybe I could go with Dark Deal here. Now let's grab Channel Song. We skip one of these. And we take draw to see more cards faster. We go right, left I mean. We are gonna be doing the infusion of steel worker into steel worker. Yes, I'll be doing that. That's a lot of armor. No minus two place here, so we chill on that. The removals here are double train stewards for now. And I will be grabbing a second fledgling imp copy. Yes, for density purposes. This one... Yeah, Ratful too. But I don't think Prince is gonna be staying long for this run. So, let's move on. 27 cards, ring 4. We can deal with spikes. So, we get 10 armor per round here with our steel worker friend. I can avoid Ember Drain here by doing this. Okay, I did that by mistake. Let me replay that. Sorry about that, guys. Should have been Train Steward first. Steel Worker, you horn break the Train Steward. Then Prince goes middle and dies there. I play Horned Warrior in the back. I try to ping out Spell Shield somewhere. I need to find my Rage Imp. I did find it. Let's... I will try to draw through. I got a Train Steward. I can put that behind Prince. Okay. There's my second fledgling imp. I ping the other one. I drop the other in. Okay. Drop the imp. Kill the other one. Drop the other one in. And we're scaling to incredible levels. Drop Fledgling Imp, pop it, Fledgling Imp again. Okay. Fledgling Imp, bomb it, Fledgling Imp. And we take the W here, I think. Okay, very fast combat. Um, sure. I might not actually need it, but... Let's try. Last stand is... No. March of Shields. I don't think I need that. Branding right is a lot of armor. And it's piercing. Uh... Do I grab that? Do I need that? 
Don't think I need that though. Let's skip here. Um, I don't need this card, so let's skip here as well. Let's only draft the essential ones. Let's go for more removals and then we chase steel shops on rings 7 and 8. Let's go magic shop here. Might find my holdover. I see a permafrost here. Don't really have very good permafrost target. A plus 10 maybe? That's gonna go on Hornbreak. A minus one should go into... Hmm. Trapped it on Razor Shot. It's a decent card. We roll this. I see a holdover. I am gonna put that on my impressive and then minus one that impressive. Then a 20 consume, I'll drop that on a restore, I think, or a glimmer. Uh, I'll drop that on a glimmer. Removals here are gonna be the last two train stewards. So the spe units that are left in my hand are just... Fledgling Imps, the Horn Warrior is going to be cut eventually, and the Steel Worker. Okay, decent. Caverns, let's check. Abandoned Stave and Calcified Ember. Do I need extra Ember for anything? I might. Because I'm playing two imps. Or trying to play two imps. Yeah, I'll grab the ember here. I might need I need that. Um I am gonna check this. Am I? Do I go magic shop again? Coming up. What do I do with the magic shop then? don't think magic shops really offer me that much so maybe i go for the removals mm. i could keep the horned warrior though and not dupe anymore but the problem is my armor. Where's gonna where's my armor gonna come from? Needs to come from steel worker, meaning I might need to cut him now. No, I'll just cut him later. I am duping my steel worker later here. I am not getting the dupe there. Because I don't have a very good dupe target. Meaning I go on the other side of this. I am gonna grab this horde though. Hell's banner is Ember. Yeah. So we got Ember Sol. Meaning I feel a little bad about Abandoned Stave. But I guess having too much Ember is not really a bad thing. Heaven Seal. Can we reasonably deal with Heaven Seal fast enough? I think we can. Yeah. We have a lot of Ember, so we can play a lot of cards. I did roll into all of my units here, which is a good thing. I am possibly gonna draw into either the correct imp, or not the correct M. So I think we are okay here. Okay, we did draw into the bad M. Let's put that on Prince. I did draw into the good M here. I can kill this M here and I can get the collector in the back, which is 
a win-win situation for us. I do have my imps here now on the floor. I can kill them. And I can also pop this dude here and this healer in the bottom lane. Okay, we're playing quite fast is what I'm seeing we're doing right now. Fledgling Imp, impressive Fledgling Imp, and that's a lot of scaling. We pop Glimmer bottom, and I guess we try to heal Prince here. Fledgling Imp, drop in, impressive Fledgling Imp, Razor Sharp in the back, Glimmer, Restore. On the enemy, eh, slight misclicks there, but doesn't really matter right now. Okay, we're scaling very fast. As soon as we see our imps, we are off the races. Okay, I just need for us to get a little more armor on this. Maybe we see a rail hammer here and this goes nuts. I'll take sap tap. That's decent. Tiresome climb is a good card. That solves our defense problem on divinity. He does not sweep our floor, meaning we don't lose armor. We skip here. And we go left for the magic shops. Double stack on tiresome climb is okay, I think. Yeah, we have a lot of ember we can support this. Might have to reconsider though. Another minus one. Let's put that on Hornbreak. I'm gonna play this every time we see it. I will drop one plus ten on a torch. And I'll spin this. Permafrost is here. Hmm. Permafrost on channel song. Another minus one. I'll drop this on the torch then. Another plus ten. Um, hmm. Do I want to grab the permafrost though? Or anything? Really? No. <laughs> Let's grab the torch again. Um, Cavern says build a card. Rage, regen, and sap. Sap seems good. Let's grab sap. Um, leave it be. Sap that increases space. Or gold. Do you like the gold here? This is the last magic shop I am going to. I think. Unless I... Yeah, this is... Hmm. This might be the last. So do I want to... Do I want space on my floor? If I put space, I might be able to fit Prince in. Let's just grab gold. I don't think we need the uh, extra stuff there. And let's grab the money and move on. We are against Diligent Seraph, right? Yes. Yes, we are. Prince goes middle. 
Horn Warrior goes top and we chill okay I did find steel worker the rest I draw into my this is okay that's fine I play channel song I get one of my imps which is a slight problem because it's hard for me to kill it Fledgling him Corn break Buff here Okay A lot of curses there I think I uh, drew over my Imp Yeah, I drew over my Imp by playing too fast. Uh, slight mistake there. I could have played that there. Oh dear. I'm playing too fast, I think, is what's. Okay. Play torch here and I chill. Okay, I leak a lot there. Play him torch bottom again, torch bottom. Okay, playing too fast is not that great. Okay, we're getting through this. There's the imp. Fledgling imp, impressive. Fledgling imp, torch. Okay, I drew into the other one. Fledgling imp, that one. Heal. Drop this here. Torch, heal. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, we get the kill. Now I hunt for... Impolate is here. It's a decent card. I have how many spells? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I need to draft additional cards. Let's grab Impolate. And I am gonna uh, take draw here. Divine Artifact. I should sell this for extra money. Don't think I need any of those. Let's go to the steel shop here. Merchant of Steel, we check, we don't see, we re-roll, we see quick. Mm. Okay, I don't see my multi-strike here. Slight bit of a problem. Dark Forge says, okay, no brawler pivot, ratful all through. What are my removals here? I think one removal is Welder Helper. And another removal is... Vengeful Shard. We are gonna clear this Vengeful Shards out of this deck. I am gonna cut the other one. Okay, and now the question is, is quick good enough? Hmm. 
getting quick might be bad for me because the imps will have a problem dying or at least one of them. Hmm, I'd like to see a multi-strike somewhere here. Hmm. We already have five hits on the floor right now. The problem is I only have ten armor on the floor. I have another steel shop. I can wait. Right? So do I cut anything bad here? What's bad in my deck? Maybe we could should cut some of the torches or some of the restores. I think I'll decide on that later. Let's move on for now. This we can manage. Maybe I see a rail hammer in this run and this goes ballistic. Steel worker in front. Warned Warrior, Prince, Razor Sharp in the back, Kill the Curse Friend, Torch Prince for more rage. Okay, I do see Fledgling Imp here. Play Fledgling Imp. Ping it. Lengling Imp Middle, Pink Collector, Heal Prince, play the other Lengling Imp Bottom. Okay. Lengling Imp, Ping it, Lengling Imp. Get rid of. Curses on bottom and heal prince to drop rage. Okay. Go on top, play fledgling imp, pop it, fledgling imp again. Pop in the back, I think. Save armor. Do this. Drop this on Prince in front of him. Okay. Fledgling him. Pop it. Fledgling him. Drop channel song. Put that on bottom, sap this. Okay. Um, fledgling him, pop it. Fledgling him. Impolate. Razor sharp. Self mutilation goes away. Okay. So one more play of these. Then I have... Okay. I think we get through this. Um, wait lang. Fledgling him. Kill it. Fledgling him. Bring him up for two days. And we win. Okay. We clear that without any issues. Inferno, I think, is a very good card. Let's grab it. And here, I think I'll just skip. We go left, hunt for multi-strike maybe. And we do see it. So I'll put that on my steel worker. And then dupe this guy. 
That's gonna be the play. Trinket Shop says... Ooh! We hit on Railhammer. This is gonna be... Amazing. We to drop that guy. We do... Where's that steel worker? We dupe him. And we generate... I don't know. Unbelievable amounts of armor. We need to cut someone here though. Um, Temple says a minus two. I think that should go into Inferno. Then in piercing should go into I don't know. Not sure if I'm taking that card. Trinket shop says spikes, spikes. We reroll this. Stinks. I don't have. Faulty loader is here. This is 440. I might grab. Don't think I need to grab Scorch Steel. So what do I cut here then? Bad Glimmer? At least that's AOE though. I think I cut one restore. Okay, that's cleared out. The minus two should be on Inferno. Ten in piercing is a no taker. Not sure if I need to get anything from the shop. My steel shop is looking like I'm not sure. I should put in some H. No. I want to be able to ping them with my torches. So let's keep them like that. I will purge the bad restores, I guess. Or they could I keep them for our diligent? I have how many spells? One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I should... Hmm. I should just grab this too, I guess. And I am good. I guess we grab the rage. Get the mad imp. And in piercing, does this do anything good for me? Maybe put it on a glimmer? I'll put it on a torch then. 145 out of 100? Let's jump right it and beat Diligent. I think we have everything we need for this. Real Hammer was just super high roll with what I wanted to assemble here. Did see steel worker here. Drop him in. Prince goes middle. Fledgling imp goes bottom. I burn. Do I need to burn a restore here? I might not need to though. Let's burn a restore. Okay, I see a steel enhancer. Let me push this guy up and get him killed. Okay. I see my second steel worker is here. Drop him in. Drop my fledgling him. I need to ping someone here. Let's burn a restore. Let's torch this. Might not I I should not have gotten that scorched deal, I think. Play Inferno bottom. Play piercing here. Blast and move on.
the fledgling imp here. We play Glimmer. Play Razor Sharp. Drop fledgling imp and horn break. Good thing I have solutions in hand for this sort of problems. Okay, we do get our... Our impressive here. Okay, he dies. That's good. Okay. Him drops. He dies, which is good. Let's burn a restore. Self mutilation. Paying the imp. Burn that friend in. Okay, slight misplace again, but I think we are strong enough to manage the misplace. Let's burn razor sharp. Drop in the imp again. We kill it. The horn break in the middle. Clear that curse. Inferno self mutilation. I am kind of speed running this, am I? So drop. Fledgling him. Consume. Fledgling him. Okay, it lives. Let's kill it again. Let's sap. Let's torch. And we are almost through the diligent fight. Let's burn this. Drop you. Impressive. Drop fledgling him. He's gonna push this guy up because he does nothing if you're in a helix. Okay, drop fledgling him. Wait. Steel enhancer, impolate, pop this dude. Fledgling him. Rid of the curse. And we're almost through. A little more. Fledgling imp. Consume. Another fledgling imp. Vengeful Shard, Torch, Impolate, and we take the W on Diligent. Self-Infused, Steelworker, and Loop That is a lot of armor to the floor. Very fun to see. Very, very fun to see. I think Diligent is gonna be almost the same. He is also actually gonna help us kill our Imps faster because of the sweep. So, I think... I think it's double steel worker here. Let's daze the boss, I guess. Hornbreaker Prince middle. Let's torch in the back twice and that is dead. Okay. I can play Inferno in bottom, which clears everything. I can Horn break here as well. Torch. Prince dies. Scary, but no, not really. We're good with what we have. Kill. Torch. Fledgling him. Um. Yeah, sure. Let's let's pull this guy out. Seven. No, oh, he's not even dead. Bit of a problem, but I think we can manage. Okay. Fledgling him. He's gonna die. Um, let's torch in the back and then we glimmer. Let's old magic here. Torch a bit in the back. We sap you. 
Okay. Six hits on the floor. I drop this. Impressive. Drop this. Push. Who am I gonna push up? You? Inferno you. Rate of transition heal. They took some damage up top because we're not scaling fast enough. Need to scale. Rage imp. Kill it. Scale. Scale. Drop him in again. Okay. We are scaling past the enemies now. We are above 290. Drop this. Kill it. Glimmer. Drop this. Okay, let's kill the co the multi striker there. Okay, we're good so far. We're almost there. Fledgling him airdrops. You kill it. You bring that guy out. Impulate. Restore. Drop the imp again. It's dying. This is good. Let's... Let's daze the boss. His feet. Okay. Imp front. Kill it. Drop it. Heal, heal. Get rid of a curse. I think we're past this. We're gonna win. And there's nothing the divinity can do about it. Drop that guy. Scale in the back. Little more hits. And we take the double. That's a sub one hour run. Did take, say, take some damage, but I think we're gonna be fine. We are playing a bit faster now. Let's go to the run summary and talk things through. So... Gurg's Goad is just a very powerful artifact for Hellhorned. And uh, with this run, we had a lot of options. Um, the initial, we could have done Steelworker infused into Horned Warrior with, and have, I think, eight hits on the floor with that. Yeah, we could have had eight hits on the floor with 10 armor and then Rail Hammer. But I wanted to solve the armor problem early on, which is why I thought about doing a self-infused steel worker with and do that so that we could have, I think, how many armor is that? Not sure how much armor is that. 10? Yeah, 10 armor. Yeah, that's correct. 10 armor times 2, that's 20, 20 armor, and we actually are we're armor positive with uh, the divinity fight, so that's good. I think that that's a very good way to solve it. Uh, we could have hunted holdovers for, where's that card, tiresome climb, but we ended up uh, hunting multi-strikes, which I think was okay overall. Um, other than that, we use torches to kill our units um, before we found Impressive. So Impressive works quite well uh, with imps, but I think the better card here is Important Work, which also gives Ember. But sadly, we did not find it this run, so we had to make do with Impressive instead. But overall, very good play. Uh, we also had Channel Song to pick out one of the fledgling imps so that we are scaling 
faster or fast enough. So aside from that, I think this a very this was a very straightforward run. Not much to say, but have consistency overall, which will turn into wins for you. So leave a like or a dislike if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment for anything you want me to try, challenges, cursed seeds, or anything. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And as always, guys, remember, Siege the Day. Thank you very much for watching.